It's, it's both putting you in a box and taking you outside of a box at the same time. And it's kind of just sort of wading through the dark trying to figure out what we're doing. There's so many different elements to it and so many different voices, so many different minds that are coming together. Um, that makes it extremely challenging but, and, uh, and difficult, but also it's, it's probably the, it's also the strength of it. We did a first run of the show directed by one of our producers, Aaron Jam, last year for the Toronto and Hamilton Fringe Festivals. Uh, it was just using composers, choreographers, and writers, so the film and visual art component is new for this show. But most importantly, I think it's that um, we were at a marketing meeting, and the big thing that people were saying was, well, that was cool, but what were you selling us? What was the narrative behind it? Like, yes, you put them together and you collage them really well, but ultimately audiences want an experience. Audiences want a story. So like, that's kind of what my objective was to pass on to Jordan. It's constantly revisiting the story and using these 37 different pieces to figure out how we can tell the story in a way that works with the pieces so they're not ignored, but then also works with the story we're trying to tell. I was really excited to be able to be the one to create the piece first and have others work from that. Normally I love working beside someone or with someone and we create like a cohesive piece together so it was really cool to be like the beginning and then see how other people react. It's like playing telephone um, because I have no idea what the choreographer was inspired by and I don't know what inspired them and so I guess you have this responsibility to understand what the piece is about and hope that you're translating it through your own medium. It's not like most of Toronto work where you work with your friend. Like people actually came in from a bunch of different places and like I don't think I know anybody else who's part of this project, which I think is awesome. I'm sharing a work with a number of people, I have no idea who they are. Society is made up of many different voices, and uh, so to be able to tell stories um, through that filter is uh, interesting and exciting for me. I move this, or maybe but you like, I have this script, and then now I have all these options for things that I can put in on this text, and I can also put this here and that there. So it's like keeping control and like keeping track of all of that I think is just what makes this process crazy. Yeah, you're making a collage, but like the collage has got to be bound together by something people can connect to. Not this airy fairy abstract thing. My own experiences of uh, young men in my life passing away um, came into the room and the idea of, of, even though if someone takes their own life, it's still a young person has died. And that kind of experience doesn't leave you. The story is a theater company that once consisted of five members uh, now consists of four after one of the members of the theater company drowned himself. Um, this group of artists come together and, and try to create these series of pieces and eulogies and, and moments, recreating these moments that they had with this friend um, who has now passed away. We're dealing with something really that hits a lot of things. And I think the idea of grieving and the idea of losing things, the idea of what do we do as people who make things when someone dies. The question we are trying to ask is how do artists grieve? How do artists deal with loss and how, and
and how do we communicate that? It just brings together the, the community, and not just the theater community, but like the art community in Toronto and Canada. And there's a guy across the seas who's working on the show too. Because uh, we're all creating art. Some of it's film, some of it's music, some of it's the body, some of it's words on the page, but it's all art and we're all creating it together. And I think that's what's great.